Welcome to the Captain Sportster YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, I hope you find this video interesting and I hope you uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, subscribing to my channel, you'll end up getting notified when I post new videos. At any rate, today I'm going to talk about uh, a Glock 43. Um, and how to remove the trigger spring from the Glock 43. A lot of people, of course, have been around Glocks for a long time and they know how to take them apart. Uh, however, the Glock 42s and Glock 43s are just a little bit different uh, in a couple of respects. Uh, how to remove the trigger spring or the trigger pivot pin is a little bit different than the rest of the Glock pistols and uh, the Glock trigger spring, the, the trigger mechanism in general is considerably different than uh, the trigger mechanism on the rest of the Glocks that have been out for many years. So in this video I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, take out the uh, trigger spring. Uh, I'm also going to slow down a little bit in disassembly to show you how to get out the trigger pivot pin. A lot of people have trouble with it and start wailing on it with a punch and a hammer and you really don't need to do that. There's just one simple little trick that uh, needs to be done if you want to call it a trick. Uh, the pin will come right out just like uh, they do on all of the other Glocks. So uh, let me get my camera readjusted and uh, we'll jump right in. Unlike a lot of the late model Glocks, uh, the Glock 42 and 43 is a two pin gun. There's a trigger pivot pin and of course the pin uh, at the back that holds in the trigger mechanism. Now a lot of people on the Gen 3's and Gen 4's the trigger pin just presses right out, no problem. Uh, however on the 42 and 43 uh, you can push all you want and it ain't gonna come out. I've seen people take a, a hammer and try and punch it out with a hammer and it ain't gonna work. You're just gonna end up beating the hell out of the gun. The real trick to getting the trigger pin out, if you want to call it that, is you have to press downward on the slide release. Right here is the uh, uh, where the magazine uh, pushes up on the uh, slide lock. If you put your hand just in front of that on the slide lock, and just press down slightly, the pin will come right out. If you don't press down on the slide lock, you're never going to get that pin out. It'll push right out if you do that. So then you can just go ahead and take the pin out like you normally would. We can go ahead just like normal and lift out our trigger mechanism. Uh, this portion up here on the uh, firing mechanism is totally different than the old style. The old style had a spring that came from back here, came from back here, and then went up uh, to a part of the cruciform. That's no longer the case. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take the cruciform off or the trigger bar off and that comes off a little bit differently but as you see there is no spring dangling off of it. And I'm going to go ahead and take out the connector on the uh, mechanism. Uh, I happen to have a ghost connector in this one by the way. Now down in here is the trigger spring, which is totally different than what the trigger spring 
mechanism was like on the late model Gen 3s and Gen 4s. A lot of people are perplexed. How do I get it out? If you look at this face of the trigger bar, you'll see uh, a, a notch this way, a notch this way, and then a slot going in this direction. Uh, the trick to getting the trigger spring out is to press and do this backwards here. Uh, you take a, a small screwdriver, a small flat screwdriver, and you place it here and push forward. And as you push forward, I'm trying to do this so you can see it on the camera. As you press that forward, you will notice down here that there's a little crossbar comes out of that slot. You then can take your fingernail and slide it up to the cross tri uh, crossbar. Once you have it split up to that cross up here, the spring is going to pop out along with the retainer. Now before you do anything else, you have to make sure to pay attention to the way this is put together. There is one edge that's flat and then the bottom edge here is beveled slightly at an angle that way. You have to make sure to put this together exactly the same way. If you have, if instead of having the bevel on the downside, you have it on the top side, you are going to get malfunctions. So now that we have this out, all we have to do is compress the spring, uh, the little plunger in the spring here depress it, turn the little metal part 90 degrees and it'll come off. Uh, the, the spring will then come off of the little plunger. Now to put it back together again, put the spring over the a uh, little plunger part and uh, thread it through the hole in the, in the metal bracket here. Depress the spring and twist it 90 degrees again. Again, make sure that that angled part is angling down in this direction. You don't, you want the flat surface at the top. Now we'll go ahead and put this back in the uh, mechanism. So now you've got this, this goes in in this direction, like this, with this little hook part that'll catch the trigger bar facing towards the top. You just kind of slide it in that slot until you see it lined up here with that post hole. And take your screwdriver, compress the whole thing, once you compress that spring through this hole, you have to nudge it a little bit with your fingernail and then slide it back down to this cross piece and it'll uh, pop back in and lock in. I did a little bit of fumbling around there. It's, it's kind of hard to, to do things and uh, keep everything in frame on the camera. Uh, hopefully the video quality is good enough that you understood what needs to be done even if you couldn't see too well because my fingers were in the way or whatever. 
uh, I hope this helps a little bit. I think if you've got a little bit of knowledge, you should be able to get that out without any problem. Well, I guess that's going to do it for today. Take care. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, again, I ask that you, uh, if you would, please subscribe to my channel. Take care. Have a good day.